Hello and welcome to this quick video tutorial of the assembly process for the Ignite Net long range bracket. So we'll first remove our accessory kit, which includes all bolts, washers, and nuts needed for the assembly. And then we'll remove the main bracket assembly, L bracket. and the pull bracket. So first thing, I'll make sure that the main bracket assembly is correct. It's got two nuts here, two bolts here. These are used for your horizontal locking. For the horizontal aiming, this bolt is used. I like to remove this, or to leave this nut loose until we have the bracket fully assembled. The next step is, is to position the vertical bar to where the screw hole is within view of our slot here. So I'll just simply turn it by hand. And you can see here that it's already in view. I like to bring it just a little bit farther till it's at the midpoint. Now that that's ready, I like to prepare all of my bolts for assembly. There is one 40 millimeter bolt. There are two 25 millimeter bolts. Four 15 millimeter bolts. eight flat washers, eight split lock washers, and then there are four 120 millimeter bolts and four hex locking nuts. So for the 15, the 40, and the 25 millimeter bolts, they each require a split lock washer and a flat washer. So I will go ahead and assemble those now and have them ready. Split lock washer first. And then our flat washer. I will set the four 15 millimeter bolts aside. These are gonna be used for final assembly to the antenna. Next, I will get the L bracket and I will position it onto the main bracket assembly. So your 40 millimeter bolt is used for the vertical positioning slot here. And then your two 25 millimeter bolts We'll go into these two positions. Now this assembly process is complete. You can do a quick check here by adjusting your vertical positioning nut here, and you should see down as you spin to the right, and up as you spin to the left. Or 
return this to a center position. Okay. Next, I will show the assembly process for the 120 millimeter bolts. This may make more sense to do after you attach to the antenna, but for now we will simply do them at this step. So you slide the bolt through the eyelet here. See here? And then we will assemble these two here. Being able to add these two bolts simply and easily is contingent on leaving this nut loose. If you tighten this nut, you'll simply need to adjust the bracket um, to this position to be able to install. If the bracket was all the way here, you would not be able to engage the screw or insert the screw without conflicting here. Okay. Next, I will attach the pull mount bracket. And then our four locking hex nuts. Now that this process is complete, I will tighten the horizontal locking bolt. This bolt can does not need to be fully tightened. It's simply there for aiming left and right. All of the locking will occur through these two bolts. So these two do not need to be held with any tightness. Okay. Last step, we'll attach to an antenna. Here we have the Metrolink 2.5 35 centimeter dish. We'll simply take our 15 millimeter bolts. And now you're tightening everything up and you're ready to install and enjoy some gigabit internet. All of the bolts are M13 or 13 millimeter hex size or a half millimeter, uh, sorry, a half inch will also work as well. Thank you for watching this video.